if you are a new or returning player to PvP in the Elder Scrolls Online, what is the most annoying thing you experience? Gankers. Welcome back, gang. It's Deltia from DeltiasGaming.com. And if you're like me, you're tired of getting ganked, bombed, one shot from stealth, and so on. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to stop those annoying gankers. We will cover gear, skills, potion, and an insane combination with the new monster helm and champion point slottable you have to see. So if you're like me and those annoying gankers are following you around waiting to get your Telvar, you'll want to watch this video. Thanks for watching. First thing we want to cover is skills, and there's a multitude of skills that can help you stop these annoying gankers, but let's start with the most obvious, and that's really anything ground-based AoE damage. A simple one that I've used often in PvE and is also effective in PvP against gankers is Razor Cow Traps from the Lion's War Assault skill line. This will leave a massive area damage effect over time on the ground and is perfect for defending the flag, breach keeps, or even putting it on yourself when you know an enemy is incoming. Essentially, any large ground-based AoE can prevent stealthers from coming up and nuking you instantly. So the more things you have on the ground, if you're playing in a team or coordinated group, the better. Spread out the radius, put them down everywhere. Now there are some more specialized counter gank skills I'm going to show you. Camouflage Hunter from the Fighters Guild is next, and this is typically used for major savagery, minor berserk, and the Fighters Guild passives for stamina builds. However, this does detect stealth and invisible enemies around you for a short duration. This skill, however, seems to have a very small radius in comparison to the others, but it is somewhat of a tool, and it's nice using when you're playing a stamina base build. So typically how I use this is on my front damage dealing bar and I quickly hit it when I can feel or sense that a stealth enemy is going to hit me or they're about ready to treat because their health is getting low. You can also use this when sieging the keeps or on the flags or just sitting around and you know a stealther is likely to hit you pop it. Another downside of this ability is it only lasts five seconds. The detect effect only lasts five seconds. So you either have to constantly cast it or use it tactically because you can burn through a lot of your stamina with a hefty cost. Next ability up is a juggernaut at stopping gankers and that's the mages guild skill radiant mage light. Not only does this provide increased radius much greater than camo hunter but you and nearby allies cannot be stunned from sneak attacks while slotted. This doesn't prevent all stuns, but it prevents a lot of them, and it's an extra bonus to allies. Remember, this might sound obvious, but you'll only get the prevention and stuns while it's slotted. So if you're AFK on a ram, sieging a keep, or sitting on a flag, make sure you're on the right bar. You can also tell a big difference in the detection radius when using this in comparison to Camo Hunter, and it's a must-have for magic users and folks in a group. Keep in mind also, it's not going to have a long duration of detection as well so you're going to have to use this sparingly just like camo hunter or you'll blow through all of your magic last ability up is the alliance war support and that's lingering flare this ability is quite different the detection doesn't start over your head rather it allows you to launch a flare at a specific location revealing 10 meter radius so you can launch multiple flares um, at once and you can detect the target. They cannot return to stealth for three seconds. The upside of this ability is it's fantastic when you're not mobile. Again, sieging a keep on a flag in Imperial City near a door. However, in mobile fights, it's very hard to know exactly where the target will be unless you have a ton of experience. So when in doubt, you can always cast this directly on top of yourself because that 10 meter radius is very large, making it very hard for someone to run and gank you without being exposed. And you'll also want to toss this on obvious points, choke points, flags, and so on, making it a decent skill for support builds. My builds typically favor Camel Hunter and Radiant Mage Light for the reason that slotting it gives you a crit bonus and the ability to activate it for detection when you want it. Consumables are next, and something I always carry on me in PvP are detect potions. These things are a must because they not only have a massive radius, but the duration of stealth detection is much longer. When you use one of these, you'll have a red circle above your head, just like Camel Hunter or Radiant Mage Light. You'll want to make sure that your character maxes out medicinal use passive and alchemy, putting three skill points because it'll increase the duration of the effect of detection. 
Here's the recipes of my favorite ones. For magic users, you can use corn flour, torch bug, lady smock, and that's going to give you detection, increase spell power, and restore magic. For stamina users, corn flour, wormwood, and dragon thorn. This is going to give you detection plus weapon critical. I'll keep a few of these on each character, especially when the magic nightblade bombers are out in full force stream sniping me. Next up is gear, and uh, while I don't necessarily use this set, it's one that is out there, and it's called Sentry. You can obtain this in Cyrodiil Bruma Vendor. This will give you 10 seconds of stealth detection when you begin to crouch, but it has a massive 30 second cooldown. Not necessarily the best setup, but something. Another surprising set is my favorite all-time monster helm. You know which one, Engine Guardian. You'll be shocked at how many times a ganker will actually attack, attack your engine engine guardian because it's so close to you and it will save you from that 10k soul harvest only to let your little friend die okay deltia these gear sets are weak what's a good one? Oh boy howdy zol the ever wakeful a new two-piece monster helm obtained in imperial city is a go-to no doubt amazing set you can get this by killing Zol the Ever Wakeful in the Elven Gardens district in Imperial City and obtain the shoulder using 20,000 Telvar per chest. It's somewhat difficult to get, but it's well worth it. What this will do is when you break free from a crowd control effect like a stun, you will release energy and fear, meaning they can't block it, enemies within 8 meters. This is perfect if you break free quickly or dueling, absolute must have, but you can make it even better god tier by one champion point slottable slippery it's in the fitness constellation 50 point slottable when you are affected by a disabling effect you automatically break free for no cost after using this ability you become winded and cannot trigger this effect for 21 seconds so if you pair Zoles with Slippery, when someone tries to gank you, it'll automatically break free and stun them back, preventing them from getting off three to four abilities within a short duration and significantly reducing the likelihood you're going to instantly die. So now you have some ideas how to handle gankers. Here are what you want to do getting ready for mid-year mehem. You want to add one ability from the list uh, based on your playstyle, your magic, stamina, or group support. You'll then craft up some detect potions based on if your magic or a, st a stamina make sure to quick slot them now you'll get the slippery passive slottable and the champion points and you're going to farm up zoles and put it on for an extra layer of protection lastly you'll slot some big massive ground effect aoe damage ability even if it's a pve ability make the ground burning sting anything just lay dots everywhere around you all the time if you do this, you'll stop being an easy target for gankers and be one hell of a tough one. I appreciate you watching this video and hope you got something out of it. Look, PvP is fun, but if you have zero experience preventing the inevitable ganker, it gets old quick. Believe me, I know. If I miss something, please leave a comment so others can learn. And special thanks to my Patreons for sponsoring this video. And if you wish to be featured in future end credits, link in the description below. Thanks for watching.